Hello and welcome back to Nova Arcana. This is episode 4 of my playthrough of this map um, and it's the first time I've actually recorded in a little while. We got a puppy and various other things happened which have made it much harder to record but uh, I've got half an hour now and I'm hoping to get this episode done um, and we are going to be taking on the Bastalt Passage in this episode. I'm just going to quickly check yeah, I ha always have slight lag issues with this map, um, especially once I'm recording. So I'm just going to drop my render distance down ever so slightly, and hopefully that helps with that. Uh, off camera, I didn't do a huge amount apart from I went and got some saplings from the area we explored last episode, which I think was Everforge or Everclear or something. Um, something like that. And yeah, so I've now got a bit of a tree farm going, and also cleaned up my inventory somewhat got a birch boat now so not huge progress but uh quality of life stuff mostly uh, i also realized uh, i was watching brian log on 111's uh playthrough just the bit uh, not not further than i've got but just the bits that i have got up to um because he's not too far into the map yet either uh and i only I think the, there are a few things which I, I didn't realise about Mushroom Stew giving you resistance and uh, uh, you getting speed when you've got full mana, uh, just a slight speed boost. So that is two quite interesting bits of information. Uh, floating gravel is never a particularly good thing. Yeah, two quite interesting bits and I'm sure there's other things and mechanics that I've missed uh, about the map that I will hopefully... Uh, slowly but surely pick up on uh, yeah so I'm just trying to to get back into the swing of it I haven't actually played this map in a little while apart from uh, that's my puppy which you can probably hear um, I haven't played this map in a little while apart from uh, just doing that wood farming and gathering up uh, gathering up some wood and uh, mana collection so I'm a bit out of practice as always uh, there wasn't yeah and um, what else have I been up to though I've been working on um, well just work real life work has taken up quite a bit of my time and my dog is now playing with my Xbox controller, so I'm going to have to go and stop him from doing that. Uh, sorry about that, you uh, probably can now hear some squeaking in the background, so again, apologies. That is my dog playing with his toy. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So... <laughs> yes. Uh, I have been working on a few different things, lots of... Um, sort of making map making tools and updating stuff for me to make maps more easily um, so one of the things there are a few different tools that I kind of keep or updating or trying to update for the uh, CTM community server one of which is the tree repository there's a custom tree repository that I've put together <laughs> he's going absolutely crazy on the floor just behind me um, but this is the only time I've got to record, so I'm just going to plow on. Uh, apologies if you're finding it annoying. I will try and remember to put a... There's definitely going to be like something above here. Or some TNT below, maybe. Uh, there's just some amethyst up here, I believe which I could collect I might as well I suppose uh, I also off camera bought some uh, a new helmet and some made some boots as well so we're kind of pretty well stocked in armor now which is always good uh, I don't like this gravel in the ceiling thing <laughs> it's making me nervous yes yeah, so I've been working on 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 the tree repository a little bit and a few other things um, which take time oh. 
And one other thing I've been working on was a jam map. So uh, if you don't know what a jam is, something else must have triggered those dispensers, which probably saved my life. Yeah, so a jam map is basically you in a, a strawberry jam for the CTM community. What is all the? What are all these? Uh, right, let's get this out of here. Yeah, so it's an, uh, a map making event. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> I don't I don't know why there's about a million uh, zombies here. There's a map making event. Uh, I need to get out of here because I'm about to die. A map making event which is a three day uh, window in order to make a map. Um, I actually only used two of the days uh, but I released a five objective mini CTM um, which you can only get in the CTMC Discord or on my Twitter. Um, but if anyone's interested in in that, I will probably eventually release it um, more publicly, like put it out on uh, on this YouTube channel, make a trailer, and do all of those things. But the reason I haven't done that yet is because I would. There are things that I would like to update about the map, um, particularly uh, some of the structures are pretty kind of rushed because well it was a, a two-day mapping event um, but that was a really fun thing to do actually uh, I had a lot of fun making I'd never made a data pack before which having released a full CTM map is a, a bit of a weird um, confession I admit but yeah so I made my first data pack and put some functions in there I'm gonna have to go and look after my dog again in a second um, yeah, so I made a data pack for the first time. Did uh, lots. Made it. I, I think the map looks really good, and hopefully, um, I can show up a screenshot at at some point because um, I think there would be some value in that, and I think people will find it cool. Uh, yeah, so if you do want to see that, uh, join the CTMD Discord, or it's on my Twitter. Uh, there's a few different places you can find it, but. Um, yeah, I think I've had some quite good reviews. Uh, Render actually played the map and, and gave me some feedback, which was really cool um, to get that from him, especially uh, given, well, the quality of the map we're currently playing. Um, it's always nice to get feedback from um, other map makers particularly. And I am going to have to go and look after my dog once again, but let's do a quick torch run first right I think we're oh, rush creep that is a bad thing hmm hmm that's what I have to say to that I think we should be good to keep going now did I just stop drinking that before it actually healed me yeah that's what happened I was waiting for if it was just going to be a delay or whether I had completely messed it up. Cool to see the, the nether mushrooms being used just to add a bit of variety. I don't really like the look of the brown ones. This looks a bit odd. I wonder if that's some sort of erosion artifact or something that ended up looking quite cool. Um, And this is going to be a like Caves of Confusion style area, it seems like, uh, where I will have no idea if it's ever finished. Let's get rid of these creepers though. And I'm going to jump stack up to there and grab that chest quickly. And there's a chest down there as well. Can't open that. I don't know what the sign says. Ah, that's what the sign says, <laughs> probably. Something about it being a trap, and I'm a fool. Uh, but this leather comes in handy, as does that cobblestone, just so we've got a block to be using. Um, I'll leave the shield there for now, because I don't actually need the shield just at the moment. 
Uh, we're doing all right on torches and uh, health, which are the the important things for the moment. I think uh, we did we did actually get that tunic, which has got blast protection on. Uh, it's probably not as good as what we've got, even in a creeper area, which this seems like it is going to be. Um, but I'll bear in mind that I've got it at least. And I actually assume there will be multiple ways out of this cave, but uh, I've, I've so far only found that one as being anything other than like a dead end. Uh, but let's check over this way first. I can hear spiders, which is never a particularly good sign. My audio might be a little bit quiet, so I'll just turn that up ever so slightly. Hopefully you can hear the game audio a bit better now. So this just appears to be an overlook on the side of the castle. Uh, I don't know which side of the castle, but a side. Um, so that's useful to know, I suppose. But let's come back and carry on. Uh, if it isn't a Caves of Confusion style area where you just get confused by not being able to clear everything, then that is good news. Um, but it is instead a speed creeper area, which is arguably worse. Especially when you're oblivious to the zombies that are coming behind you. And I do not know where he spawned, which is kind of the main problem I'm thinking of at the moment. But let's kill him before we worry too much about that. And heal up somewhat. I want to make sure I've got enough left that I can continue to sprint, but uh, we will see. This bow is quite nice for dealing with groups of zombies particularly, um, which we have come across quite a few already in this area. Do not want to set off any of this gravel particularly. And that just seems to have linked back round. Uh, so maybe this is just a side area, uh, which would be a little bit annoying because we haven't found anything in this side area. But um, let's wait and see, I guess. Because uh, I've probably missed something. I think that's probably what's happened uh, but if not I might just stop recording and then and I'm lagging quite badly as well so what I think I'm gonna do is stop recording because I've completely frozen up uh, and I'll do a bit more poking around and then come back in a moment I did unfreeze but I don't want to freeze up again I've come a bit further along and it seems like uh, there are there is more to the cave. Uh, I actually thought this was linking back to uh, the cave we'd been in earlier. And I'm apparently not as safe as I think I am here. Um, yeah, there's some sort of zombie spawner or some something causing a zombie apocalypse just as I'm trying to re-intro, uh, of course. It was pretty, like, there wasn't anything coming at me and then I hit record and suddenly... Uh, right. Yeah, we're a little bit low on health, but let's do our best to plow on anyway. Yeah, so I saw this lantern and thought it linked back up to that original cave we were in, but in fact it does not. And this is a different cave, despite it looking quite similar. We are in a different, a slightly different area. I'm having a lot of trouble with these zombies. I don't know why. But uh, I don't know if it's deliberate or whether it's the, the weird zombie uh, reinforcements mechanic 
that exists in Minecraft. I don't know quite how that's working, uh, or whether it's just me missing a spawner or something. Um, but it is allowing me to get some of my mana back. Uh, so, you know, it's not all bad. But let's try and continue in here a little bit, and let's heal up first, I think. Uh, just try and work my way around the outside. I was like, that's not a zombie spawner, and then was like, oh, where is the creeper that it will have spawned? Uh, we survive somehow. Let's eat this as well. Um, because we will not be able to sprint now, so if something does come for us, we are, well, screwed, basically. And there's something up there which I do want to get, and it looks like we're going to have to head all the way up as well. It has been a few days since the last clip in this video, and the reason for that is that uh, a everything was it was not a good time to record previously. My dog was going mental, and uh, the game was lagging a lot. So what I've done is I've actually uninstalled Fabric and Sodium, uh, which I was using previously, and hoping that that helps because uh, I think there are some conflict issues with various versions of that. Uh, if it's still unplayable, I might try re. Uh, reinstalling that because it's I mean you can tell it's quite choppy at the moment but it's going through uh, phases of kind of good um, if I can't get it to work I will have to kind of give up on the map uh, at least playing playing through it uh, on stream there is also an emerald down there which is the reason I started recording here uh, off camera I did however just go back heal up and kind of get my inventory sorted a bit uh, so hopefully we can carry on with the map without too many more difficulties. I don't actually know which way to go because I sort of tunneled across this way. But I think if we work our way up here, that should be a good option. Let's make sure we don't jump off anything. That looks a lot steeper, like a, a lot bigger hole from the bottom than it does from up here. Uh, I guess you can keep going. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? I have kind of healed up, got my mana, also got some new chain leggings. So I'm hoping we can make some good progress. Uh, if it is really choppy, I'm sorry. I might even try I'm on six chunks at the moment. I might drop that all the way down to uh, like four, maybe. Um, if I'm having to play on four chunk render distance, it's probably not the ideal map uh, for, for, this, for my computer. Um, but I will do my best. This was where something blew up, I think, and then we came this way. And then I think this is pretty much where we got up to. Uh, I also got some more arrows. Um, so hopefully we can deal with some of the mobs that are going to be inevitably dropping on us. Felt sure I'd seen something there. All right, let's carry on. Uh, even if, well, I'll make a decision at some point. I'll, I'll, I don't know when I'll, I'll let people know if I am going to carry on with the map. Um, I would like to. I'm having a lot of fun when I am able to play it, but at the moment it's just a bit um, difficult because of the lag. I think there was a spawner up here, maybe? Or maybe I dealt with that one and then came around here. Uh, that's the, the path to the next area, I think, but I just want to clear out this area first, get rid of the speed creepers if we can. Because I think that was the, the special mob of this area, the speed creepers. There we go. And because we do get uh, 
feathers from zombies in this map. Um, I'm not too bothered about uh, using a decent chunk of arrows because there's plenty of gravel, plenty of trees, and plenty of feathers as well. So we can actually craft arrows, which is not something I do that often in CTM maps anymore. Um, but I do like that kind of more survival-y side of having to actually craft up some resources. I feel like there's string. Is it string just for vines? Uh, I did actually leave a chest in that previous area. Let's find out what this terror charm does, though. Uh, I didn't even check if that was a trap chest, because I never do. Because I'm a fool. Uh, let's head back and check out that chest as well, though. I'm not too big a fan of using string to stop vines. Um, I don't really know why. Uh, I think it's... I got it in my head from... And it looks like there's something up there as well. Blast protection, knockback, and sweeping edge. Uh, I don't think I've got any... An anvil yet. Uh, I've been trying to avoid... Getting spoilers from... Uh, other playthroughs and the the chat on the discord but I have got a couple of things and one of them is that I think you get an anvil relatively early on um, so I will bear that in mind and those books would kind of hint towards that I've been trying to watch bits of um, Brian Logan 111's playthrough in particular but um, he's already at a point where he's further ahead than I am at least in certain sections So we do find another one of these caves, which is good, I think. Yeah, this is like not really playable. Um, I'm going to drop it down to four chunks and I'm going to cap my frame rate at 30, uh, switch to fast graphics. I don't know why I hadn't done the fast graphics before this. It's, my mouse is also double clicking. I'm having just not the best time uh, <laughs> from a technology point of view, but uh, I'll do my best to unregardless. Thankfully, knock back is pretty useful. When you are lagging somewhat. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's just a bit, um, it's unplayable, <laughs> effectively, at this stage, um, which is a, a shame. I will, I'm going to plow, I'm going to push on for the rest of this area, uh, and then, unless I can get um, fabric working and have everything running well with that, uh, I think I'm just going to have to leave the map for a while. Until I get a better computer, almost. Because I'm sure this isn't isn't hugely fun to watch for anyone either. Looks like this is the. Oh. Yeah, that's, um, I don't really want that to be the note that I end the episode on, but I think it might have to be, because, I mean, now it's playing okay, like, now I can actually sprint, but as soon as there were mobs involved, everything was just really kind of unplayable then. Um, so that is going to be it for, for now, and probably, well, possibly for this map, which is quite frustrating. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can really do other than get a better computer that can handle playing this map and recording it at the same time. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's just a, a big shame because it's been my most uh, my most viewed series on this channel, definitely, um, and definitely, and like clearly there's a lot of interest in it, and it's a really good map, and all of these things. I mean, let's just. Um, 
all of these things and it's just annoying that I don't have the hardware at the moment to play it very well uh, I will try again with fabric um, and uh, sodium and try try and get that running well uh, if it works it works but if not uh, thank you for watching the series thus far if you have have been watching um, there's not really anything else I can say at this stage yeah uh, thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it and for the last time, potentially, bye bye. Yeah.